good Tuesday morning. Um, my daughter made homemade bread last night. And it is really tempting me today. Not going to eat it. But I decided that I would splurge and have a treat. So that I didn't eat something I shouldn't. And the treat is bacon. I don't eat it as much as I'd like. I don't eat bacon as much as I'd like, as I was saying, because um, it's a little pricey and I hate cooking it, frankly. If I didn't have to cook bacon, I'd eat it every day. But yum, this is going to be my treat because I can't have homemade bread. Check out this zucchini that we got out of our neighbor's garden. This thing is massive. I can't even video it. Claire's making zucchini bread today. I'll make a zucchini something today. So we got one truffle, peanut butter, and sugar-free jelly. This one, I'm making another one. And I'm gonna make myself a bacon sandwich. So I ate that one truffle with peanut butter, natural peanut butter, and sugar-free jam on it. And I had three pieces of bacon. Um, feeling full now, which is shocking because when I woke up this morning, I was famished. So last night, after I closed out my video, my husband was having ice cream, and that tempted me so much. So I went into my freezer, and I found an Enlightened that um, I had already been eating on in the past. So it was half full, and I finished it off. So that was actually kind of a really yummy treat, and I have been feeling super hungry for days. I have no idea why that is happening to me, but I just feel so hungry. Um, so now... I have all this bacon that I'm going to put in a bag, and I have three chaffles. They are made with Monterey Jack cheese and an egg. Well, I used two eggs because I, I did eat one chaffle with the peanut butter and jam. But I am going to put these in my fridge. I've never saved chaffles in the fridge before, so we'll see how it goes. But I am going to make a crab melt today. That is going to be my big fancy lunch. And I might eat it in a couple hours. Who knows? But I am going to go ahead and have... Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm so short. Oh, my goodness. Got it. I'm going to have one of these because I haven't had one of these in days. So I'm going to go ahead and make one of these up with ice, heavy whipping cream, water, and a scoop of this. And then that's going to finish off my breakfast. So, and then I'm going to have that crab melt chaffle. Because the chicken melt last night was so good. And then, and it reminded me of, um, we used to always make crab melts um, for lunch, uh, Tim and I, when we were first married. And so I thought, you know, I do have some canned crab. I've got cream cheese. I've got cheddar cheese. It's happening. It is happening today on a chaffle. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how I make that, and then it'll be part of my daily food uh, vlog. But also, if you have not checked out um, uh, our Keto Through the Holidays Challenge slash support group, do it. Go to Facebook and look us up. We have a group. It's called Keto Through the Holidays. You can also look for my video that I did yesterday about it. Um, we're starting October 1st, and it's going to be through January 1st, and we are just going to stay keto through the holidays we're going to help each other out on that so check it out and tell your friends the more the merrier this is pretty tasty i ate a couple more pieces of bacon so that's five pieces of bacon one peanut butter and sugar-free jelly chaffle and this collagen protein drink well i just went on a 1.8 mile walk and i came home and made myself some peppermint herbal tea with heavy whipping cream, I'm gonna enjoy this. So we have our meeting with our son who is in the justice system and his whole team, uh, like his therapist and his uh, probation officer and his guardian ad litem and caseworker. And actually he has a new caseworker. He We've had eight caseworkers since uh, he was arrested basically. Um, so this is a new caseworker, so it's the first time that we'll have ever met her. So you never know what you're going to get with that. 
in general, we've had some pretty good caseworkers, but we've also had a couple of not so great ones, uh, an especially terrible one that caused a lot of problems for our family. But, um, yeah, I don't know how that meeting's going to go down. Luckily, it's a conference call. They always are. Last time, our son was being so terrible that he wasn't even allowed to go to the meeting. So, I don't know. We'll see if he gets to come to the meeting or we all talk about it. Without him there, I don't know. Talk about him, his progress, the plan for going forward. That's what we always have these meetings for. Uh, but he's not doing well right now. He's uh, been doing terribly for many, many months. And so we'll just have to see. But I might have to go on a, another walk afterwards. Oh my heck, guys. I am so excited. So while we were in the meeting, the conference call with our son, and it went pretty well overall, um, we had to make some decisions. We, we, the, his probation officer actually wasn't able to come there, nor was his caseworker. So we do have a couple of things we have to um, talk to his probation officer about and stuff. But, um, you know, it was okay. They're just such stressful meetings um, while I was there. I... Uh, in the um, meeting, I always have my phone with me and I check out Instagram or Facebook and stuff just so that I'm like there, but I'm also not like so involved that it's stressing me out and I can't handle it because uh, sometimes it can get pretty bad. And today was a better than usual time, but it's still, it's just bad. I mean, the, the situation is very bad and uh, he's not making any changes or progress and, um, it's concerning. It's really concerning. Um, anyway, so while I'm doing that, wonderful Christy from OK Keto was texting me all these wonderful things. She is just like the neatest person ever. So that totally lifted my spirits. And then I was on Instagram and someone was doing a um, taste test between the Bake Believe white chips and the Chalk Zero white chips. And she was saying that she didn't like the Bake Believe white chips, and I was telling her I didn't either. I just think they're over-the-top sweet, just like her, and um, said that I hadn't tried Chalk Zero yet, but I planned to at some point, and that I was happy that they tasted good. Well, then Chalk Zero contacted me and said that because or they had gone to my profile and seen that I have 12 kids and I must be the hardest working mom ever or something nice like that and that they wanted to send me some chips. So I'm just like, I mean, I, that is really, really exciting to me. Um, yeah, so that was, it was just two really fun, cool things and the Chalk Zero thing is like amazing to me. I'm very, very excited about that. I can't wait. So when they get here, I'll be videoing that for sure. Ooh, crab melt. Yum. Crab melt chaffle. Well, I didn't finish that chaffle. Um, I ate about half of it. I just didn't feel super hungry. So I will feel hungry for dinner tonight, I'm sure. But I just, I shared it with the kids. They enjoyed it. So this is tasty. You gotta try it. We're at the Asian market. Ooh, he moves. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, so That's cool. I don't know. I love the other one. So this is my dinner. It's a, a long time ago I made some chicken chili, uh, green chili chicken casserole from CJ's Keto Kitchen. And I froze some of them. And this is my last one. Sorry it's so bumpy. We're in the car. But I warm this up and I'm going to eat it.